What's going on, everybody? Last week, let's see, I put out the uh, record thing. What was that called? Oh yeah, like the record display case. Didn't really perform that well. I was hoping it would do better. I don't know. Sometimes it seems like the ones I expect to do really well end up doing terrible. Whatever. I enjoyed making it. I had a good time editing it. Everything. So I, I don't want to complain at all. You know, I did want to say I got kicked off of Reddit a while back because I was sharing my own woodworking videos in the woodworking subreddit. And uh, they said you couldn't do that. So I went and got a different name and started doing it again. And eventually they just kicked me out. But that subreddit seemed to get me a lot of views. So if you're looking to uh, help me boost this channel a little, go ahead and share some of those uh, project videos over there. I'd be very, very grateful. Oh, I put out an old video from eight years ago. Crazy to think that was eight years ago. Uh, my beard isn't white at all. Neither was my hair for the most part. Both my son and my daughter had dance recitals this weekend. It was adorable, had a blast with them. What else? Oh, I did a shelf for the same person that I made the record cabinet for. I made a shelf for, and that's coming out next week. That was a really simple shelf, but the uh, joinery on it really helps stabilize it all and make sure that it's not going to start to lean over the years. So I'm excited to put that one out. It should be a short, easy little video. Today's Juneteenth, and for the past two years, me and a few friends of mine have gone over to Pizza Hut to get a little nostalgic and grab some pizza and some beers. And this year, they had the classic Pizza Hut red cups. And guess what? I stole one. <laughs> After we left there, we went to Hooters and got a beer. I'd never been to Hooters. What a dump. And then from there, we went to like this junk shop, and I tried to buy eight VHS tapes, and the guy wanted to charge me $50 for eight VHS tapes. But I left there with these three, and uh, got them for 11 bucks, I think. This past weekend was Father's Day, and I found myself sitting on a grass hill in the shade with my dad, watching my daughter perform in her dance recital. When I was a kid, my dad made everything. Like, whatever we needed, he figured out how to make it. And if he didn't know how to make it, he pushed along and he figured it out. At the time, I didn't really think much of it. He would ask me to come out in the shop and do projects with him, and I really had no interest at all unless it was like making a skateboarding ramp, which he helped me with a bunch of times. As I got older and I bought my house and I found that there was a lot of things here that we needed to fix or things that we needed that we couldn't afford, I started messing around in the workshop and just trying to figure things out too. And I think that's because I saw my dad always doing it. I know for a lot of parents it's really hard to be yourself after you've had kids because you kind of like just become like a parent constantly. 100% of the time you're a dad or a mom or whatever. Then the more I thought about it, the more I thought about how important it was that my dad continued to be him, but also did things like made the skateboard ramp with me and showed me how to make the skateboard ramp. So I was gaining that knowledge without even really knowing it. Also seeing him doing what he loved led me down a path where I'm now doing what I love. I think being a dad or a mom that can lead by example and show that you stick to the things that you love and you don't just give up on them is really important. And I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to follow in my dad's footsteps and lead by example and continue to be out here in my workshop doing what I love and my kids see that and I don't know. I don't know where I'm going other than thanks dad. I know you're gonna watch this so thank you. But I guess whatever your passion is which I'm assuming is making things or you probably wouldn't be watching this channel Continue to do it and do it in front of your kids and bring your kids into the shop when they're willing to come in and work it into their lives. So when they have a passion later in their lives, they'll do the same for their kids or just enjoy their lives by doing what they love. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and uh, keep making stuff and I will see you at next week with a new project. Later dudes, bye. Bye, see you again and have a good dream.